Hello everyone, I hope you all have a great day. My name is Muhammad Halfan and in this video, we're going to talk about the basics of typography. So, typography, it's everywhere we look, in the books we read, to the websites that we visit, even in everyday life, such as street signs, stickers, and product design. Simply put, typography is the style and appearance of a text. It can also refer to the art of working with text, which is something you probably do all the time. Typography can be an intimidating subject, but don't worry, it doesn't have to be. You only need to know a little to make a big difference in the stuff you do every day. So let's get started. First, some common types of fonts, and what you need to know about them. Serif fonts have little strokes that attach to the main part of the letter called a serif. These types of fonts have a classical look, and they are perfect for more traditional projects. They are also popular with print publications such as magazines and newspapers. Sans serif fonts don't have those little strokes, hence the name, which is French for without serif. This style is considered to be cleaner and more modern compared to the serif font. These types of font are also tend to be easier to read on computer screens, including tablets and smartphones. These flip fonts come in many different types, like script, black letter, all caps, and just plain fancy. Because of their decorative nature, these play fonts are best used for small amounts of text. For example, titles, headers, and more graphic-heavy design. In a way, fonts have their own language. They all have something to say beyond just the words on the page. They can come across as casual, or neutral, or even exotic, and graphic. That's why it's important to think about the message and pick the font that fits. When deciding which fonts to use, less is more. It's best to limit yourself to just one or two per project. If you need more contrast, try repeating one of the fonts and alternating between sizes, weight, and styles. This trick is very useful for creating combinations that work. You've probably heard the saying, opposites attract. Well, the same applies to fonts. Don't be afraid to combine fonts that are different but complementary, like sans serif with serif, short with tall, or decorative with simple. This can be challenging at first, but don't despair. Look for other designs for inspiration, and soon you'll get the hang of it. And with that, we're going to wrap up about today's topic, typography. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a very wonderful day.